What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Moff's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Star Wars Black Series Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. And I don't really have too much else to say. I got the whole wave, so we'll be looking at all of them as we move through the week, and we'll probably spill over into next week, so let's just go ahead and dig in, and we'll start with accessories. He comes with a pistol. It's sculpted well enough. I actually I enjoy the sculpt quite a bit. Uh, not a lick of paint on it, but that's fine. And he'll hold it just fine. And it can also be stowed in his holster on the side hip. He comes with the Darksaber, which is actually surprisingly well done. Now, I don't know if the blade, it can. Okay, so the blade can be removed from the hilt. The hilt itself is sculpted well enough, but no paint. The uh, blade is a translucent plastic with the gray painted down the middle, like a, almost like a metallic black. Um, looks really good. It's a quite efficient and effective way to pull off the Darksaber, which I was concerned about. And he'll hold that just fine. And let's talk about the figure. So, to be fair, the cape is an accessory as well. I will say that a lot of times Hasbro capes have a hard time sticking on. This one does not. Um, I wish it was a cloth cape, but, you know, people feel differently. The cape is nice enough sculpt-wise. Nice wrinkles in there, painted... I'm guessing red on the inside, which I'm not sure was the best choice, but that's the choice they made. All right, so head sculpt-wise, let's take a look. Pretty good. Maybe a little skinny. Like, it almost looks a little unhealthy, but uh, pretty good overall. The digital paint, the application, the real face application paint, whatever they call it, looks pretty good as well. Hair is sculpted, painted, all of it's... You know, pretty sharp, to be fair, uh, especially for the scale and the price. It's a double ball peg from the head into the neck, and it feels like a single one from the neck into the chest, but they still haven't quite figured it out yet, so you don't really get down. You get a little bit up. You get side to side and a little bit of attitude, but not much, to be fair. All right, let's continue single ball peg from the abdomen into the chest and it works fairly well you can get it back to there forward a good bit teapot swivel you got white and gray application that looks terrible and then red and gray there and then red on the shoulders which looks fine and all the sculpt work looks fine the middle bit this white and gray here on the chest it just looks like a child did it you know just a sloppy mess but what are you gonna do all right then we have disc hinges for shoulders this pad here the shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder um it's a softer plastic so it kind of gets out of the way but it does warp the plastic that's hasbro hasbro for you we have a red stripe painted down the arm same here and then the wrinkles look good you get to swivel around you have a single hinged elbow that's hidden quite well in all honesty and gets you past 90 degrees and gets you your bicep swivel the gauntlets here i th they might be sculpted in which is interesting. And then they're sculpted on top as well with the uh, textures and such. We have a wrist swivel and a hinge up down and the fingers are painted on. Same for the other side. Now, we have this little skirt here that covers the pelvis. We have red and silver painted on there and that's done pretty sharp. T-jointed ball joints for hips. Get you out to the side. Fair bit for him off. He's not gonna get too acrobatic, is he? And forward and back a good bit as well. Thigh swivel. Nice pleats and, I mean, um, wrinkles and stuff in the pants. And then the red stripe down the side looks good. They are using the new knees. This doesn't look bad. Perhaps they're getting better or perhaps, you know, it should, to be truthful, it probably is one of those things where it's, it's the right tool for the right job. Sometimes this single hinge knee is going to work well. Sometimes it's not. This is one where it does. You get 90 degrees and an additional swivel that you don't need. Boots are sculpted well. Ankles tilt up on a disc hinge, down, and where the hinge pegs into the foot, you'll get a swivel for a rocker. So, uh, pretty solid. You know, nothing crazy or mind-blowing, but, you know, a pretty good figure. Size comparison-wise, and kind of, there he is in my diorama that I recently built just for my Mandalorian bad guys. Uh, just something, you know, simple, down, dirty, quick, easy. Uh, not my best by far, but will do the trick, I think. And there he looks, you know, good, looks good next to some stormtroopers. I uh, always like the black armor against the white armor. Like, it, it harkens back to Vader, right? It just always works. 
Final thoughts wise, of course, we'll start with the negatives. Uh, the only real negative is this face sculpt isn't their best. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it isn't their best. They've been nailing a lot of them recently and the paint has been doing them justice as well. This one just seems slightly off to me. It's in the ballpark and you'll definitely know who it's supposed to be if you have them on the shelf, but something is rotten in Denmark regarding it. Now, moving on, that paint blotch on the chest is terrible, but you know, individual results will vary there. I just got the cross-eyed guy handling that one when it came time to paint. And then of course, the two holding hands, at least he does have two accessories to hold, but if you don't have him holding both accessories at the same time, he's always throwing up a C gang sign or something. But yeah, it's just it's just one of those things that just frustrates me. Also, if I were to get nitpicky, the shoulder pads do get obnoxious and you can't get them in super dramatic poses or it will warp the plastic. That's just an engineering thing. It's how they've decided to do it. I guess it would be far too expensive for them to do it the SH Figuarts way. So I do understand it, but I am at least just pointing it out. Positives wise, and I know this sounds petty, but forgive me because a lot of times they don't get it right, but the cape works fairly well and looks pretty good, especially for a plastic cape. Now, it's not functional because plastic capes never are, but it does display well. It does look good. So some credit has to be given there. Secondly, ton of sculpt work. All the wrinkles in the sleeves and pants and all of that in the way that they hide, the single hinge in the knee, all of that works really well. The elbows especially, like the dark palette of the clothes along with the amount of like well sculpted sculpted wrinkles and stuff hide the engineering that works pretty well so that's just a success down the line and lastly I'm impressed with the way they did the star saber I would have expected it to not look this good and it looks pretty good a little paint on the hilt would have made it look even better so yeah it's a recommend for me not their strongest but for a kind of baseline figure pretty solid offering thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care